Today, former President Trump has signaled what could be his next move in the Georgia election case. This afternoon, he told the judge he may seek removal of his prosecution to federal court. Remember, Trump's former chief of staff and Georgia co-defendant Mark Meadows is already trying to do that. He's still waiting for a ruling on that request. As Trump and Meadows try to work out their legal strategies, District Attorney Fawny Willis is fighting to protect her investigation from House Republicans. Today, she responded to Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, who began investigating her office after Trump was indicted. In a scathing nine-page letter, Willis told Jordan he was, quote, trying to obstruct a criminal proceeding and advance outrageous partisan misrepresentations. She also said that being a political candidate did not make Trump immune from prosecution, similar to what Kamala Harris said yesterday. Meanwhile, NBC reports that the grand jury in Jack Smith's federal election case was back at work today in a D.C. courthouse. And as that was happening, Donald Trump's former trade advisor, Peter Navarro, was convicted of contempt of Congress for not complying with a subpoena from the January 6th committee. He said this outside the courthouse today. People like me, senior White House advisors, alter egos of the president, cannot be compelled, cannot be compelled to testify before Congress. I said from the beginning, this is going to the Supreme Court, I said from the beginning, I am willing to go to prison to settle this issue. I'm willing to do that. The verdict came out after about just four hours of deliberation and a trial that lasted only two days. Navarro is set to be sentenced in January. He faces potentially up to two years in prison. He said he was ready. Well, it may happen.